Hello everyone, this is Robert, and today we're going to be talking about laser safety. When I or any other YouTuber creates a video on lasers, the first comments are always about laser safety. So when I did my videos on the Cloudray Fiber Laser, there was a lot of comments that why is that thing just sitting out there in the open? Cloudray actually saw these comments and decided to send me both of their protective laser enclosures. So we've kind of got the more higher end and then we have the more basic one. So in this video, I'm gonna kind of compare and contrast and show you the difference between these two enclosures. As always, feel free to use the chapters to skip around in this video. So comparing these two different enclosures, I'm going to call this one the basic. I'm going to call this one the advanced. They don't call it that. I'm doing it just for the sake of this video. The basic one is coming in about $400 and the advanced is coming in about $700. So there's a pretty good price difference between them. The basic is basically just the two T-slot aluminum channels with you know opaque acrylic on all the sides and then of course you have your little viewing window here which stops all the laser beams from coming out with the advanced one this is actually all extruded aluminum and this kind of has a neat feature to where it kind of comes off and the accordions down into a really small little package the basic one requires a fair bit of assembly and it is relatively fiddly i actually made a fairly involved video that I sent to Cloudray talking about just how fiddly it is and just how much I didn't like it. It's fine, um, but it does take some time to assemble and is kind of a bit annoying. The other thing that I don't really like about the basic is it kind of permanently installs on the base of the laser. You can't really take it on and off. So if you have a larger item that you want to engrave, you kind of have to disassemble this to some degree to get it off of the laser. The advanced one has a really neat feature with some modifications that I made to where you can easily take it on and off so it's a little bit less permanent. The basic one also has no communication back to Lightburn or your laser software whatsoever. There is no interlock switch, so if you open this up, it's not gonna care. If you start the laser with this door open, it's not gonna care. And there's also no light on this, which makes filming for someone like me very difficult because it's very dark inside of there. So filming is almost impossible. Whereas with the advanced one, you get a light and you also do have a safety interlock. So as soon as you open this door, the laser will turn off. So that is kind of nice. Um, so let's get into the assembly on both of these because it's quite a bit different between them. I'm going to start by talking about the unboxing, unpackaging, and assembly for the basic enclosure. One of the reasons why I'm doing this video is to help Cloudray out a little bit, but also to help anyone out that is actually looking to purchase these, just to give you a better idea of what's involved. For the basic enclosure, it's more like a kit. There is some assembly that's already been done, but I found that that assembly is really more to aid in the actual packaging and shipping of it than it is um, you know, to save you assembly steps. And what I found is that I had to disassemble some things to kind of get them to fit. So really any of the assembly that was already done was I don't know, just kind of there to put the pieces together, if that makes sense. So when I actually went to assemble it, I just kind of almost took everything completely apart because things didn't really line up the way I thought they would. This is feedback that I did share with Cloudray and they are correcting this, but that is just something to keep in mind. The assembly does take quite a bit of time though. I'd say give yourself a couple hours because it is fairly involved. And if you've ever dealt with T-slot extrusion in kind of doing these three-dimensional box objects, it's kind of fiddly. You always need like one extra hand, no matter how many hands you have. And this is kind of what I mean about this being permanent. You're kind of installing it directly into the frame of the laser. And so it's not something that can easily just kind of slide out. So start to finish, the basic enclosure takes about eh, one to two hours to unbox and get assembled and adjusted. 
whereas with the advanced enclosure, it maybe only takes about five minutes to open up the box, take all the packaging off, and then unfold it, set it on the actual laser. There's a couple caveats to that that I'll get into. You might have to do some stuff on your controller, and there are a couple little mounting points that have a couple screws. I'll get into that in a bit, but generally speaking, just unboxing it and putting on the machine, it's gonna be less than five, 10 minutes. So here's the big caveat for the advanced enclosure. Since it has the interlock switch as well as the internal light, these need to be controlled by your laser controller. And if you have an older one, they might not have the ports on the back, so you have to add it. I have an older laser, so mine didn't have it, and this is kind of what the process looks like to add it. They include a really nice wiring harness, so you do have to open up the side of the machine, plug this in, close it back up. It takes, I don't know, maybe about a half an hour start to finish if you're being careful and posting pictures on Instagram and stuff like that, but it's really pretty straightforward. It comes with all the instructions. There's no crimping, there's no soldering, there's no real wiring. You're basically just plugging in a wiring harness into existing ports on the inside of the controller. So it's really not that bad. I am told that all new models are gonna be coming with this port already installed, so you'd only have to worry about this if you have an older machine that you're gonna be adding an enclosure to. If you're buying a new machine, you should be good to go. Once you get the wiring harness and the port installed on the controller, you can just simply set this onto the laser. There's a couple of these little mounting brackets that they included that kind of go on the side, and basically it's used to rest on the base plate. However, I am not using these. I came up with what I think is a better solution. I 3D printed some little pieces on there which allow you to remove and collapse it. Let me show you. So all we need to do is lift off the top. We'll set this aside. Unscrew the wiring harness. I've forgotten this before. Unscrew that, set that aside. And now we just have to lift it off. We just have to make sure that we don't hit the laser head, which is right there. Nice and simple. And then this whole thing, just collapses down into this relatively thin little thing. And I actually have a spot on the side, I don't know if you can see on the camera, there's a little gap between my X-Tool P2 and this stand that I can just set this down on the ground. So it makes it really, really easy. If I wanna do something large, I can just kind of disassemble it, take it off. And I 3D printed these two little pieces down here. I have a link on printables. These actually just help the whole thing key in. So if we wanna reinstall this, time me. And then we just attach the wiring. Now I don't have the little accordion installed right now because I'm still working on kind of the exhaust and some other things. That would add a couple little seconds to the steps. You'd have to undo that. But I really like this enclosure for that feature, the ability to take it off, set it aside, do something big, and then put it right back on. That makes me really, really like this as an alternative to the basic enclosure, which is just kind of permanently on there. Both of the enclosures have this little accordion cover thing that sits in this track, and they just kind of come with this double stick Velcro that you attach to the head, and then it can move up and down with the head as you focus it. I'm not super thrilled with this option. I really wish there was kind of a better way to attach to the head. I think I'm going to kind of 3D print something that goes around the head that just has some magnets in it, something like that. This totally works, it's just not the most elegant solution, but they both have the same feature there, and they also both have this exhaust hole. Um, I'm gonna use this to adapt to my kind of magnetic system that I have on the um, X-Tool and I have on my HEPA filter, so I'll just kind of add like a little 3D printed thing on there, but they both have exhaust holes, so that should be just fine. Okay, it's everyone's favorite time, it's conclusion time. So which one of these is better? 
very clearly the advanced one is better. There's a couple little gripes that I have. Uh, the magnets on the door are not really that strong. You just kind of have to press it closed. That's a little bit of a gripe. Other than that, I actually really like it. With the 3D printed adapters on the bottom, it makes it just wonderful. You can see how easy it is to just pop it off, put it back on. If you're ever doing something that's going to be larger than the internal volume of the enclosures, this one's probably the one to go with. This one is a real pain to take off. You basically have to disassemble a few pieces to kind of get it back off. So that is definitely a consideration. Obviously there is a price difference between the two. This one feels like a much better value for the price that you pay because it is just kind of this nice big aluminum thing. This one just doesn't really feel to me as much of a good value because it's just kind of, you know, T-slot extrusion with some aluminum or um, acrylic panels on it. So it just kind of feels a little bit more DIY where this one eh, feels a lot nicer. And Cloudray kind of has a really nice aesthetic to their products. The controller, as you saw from the previous videos, is really well made. This goes with it a lot more. This just kind of feels like it cheapens it. So just my two cents there. Also, this one does have the integrated light as well as the interlock. So if you really truly want a safety enclosure, this is the one to go with. You can have the door wide open and hit fire and it will just go. Um, this one really doesn't offer you any actual protection if you have that door open. It's up to you to still think about closing the door. This one also has a much bigger viewing window. This one is definitely a lot smaller. This one was impossible to film in. This one's totally fine, so consideration there. This one also takes a long time to assemble. This one is like, you know, five or 10 minutes. So I know I'm kind of leaning much more towards this one, but for me, this is the type of thing that I would be looking for. It's just that pesky price difference. If this one was the same price as this, it'd be a no brainer. Um, I am told that they're going to be offering this like kind of in a combo. So you might be able to buy both the machine and one of these at a discount. So hopefully that will be the case. Um, be on the lookout for, I don't know, coupons or deals that they've got going on. Uh, I did buy one of these lasers for my business um, and we are loving it. It's so much faster than doing CO2 marking. And we did end up getting one of these because when you have employees, you know, you don't want to run into safety considerations. This one really isn't the right thing to do in a business environment because there really is no interlock switch. So you can't kill the laser when you open the door. This one has the actual interlock switch. So this is going to be the one that you're going to want to go with for a business. So hopefully you got something out of this video. I know for my general audience, this probably wasn't super fun, but Thanks for making it all the way through. And um, anyone that is looking to buy these enclosures, let me know if you have any additional questions. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.